Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Aran. This is your Dr. Aran. Thank you so much everyone for all the love and support. Every video has coming mind blowing, lot of response. Everyone is going crazy. Thank you so much. In today's segment, we're going to talk about is one important aspect of general physical examination. We're going to talk about pickle. Clinical scenarios, clinical knowledge plays such a humongous role in our life. General physical examination, pickle. Number one, what is pickle? Pickle, 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 pickle. What is pickle? That is pallor, atrus, clubbing, cyanosis, lymphadenopathy, and edema. That is pickle. Now, first question: How do you look for pallor? How, 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 how should I look for pallor? An examiner always tells the student: Show me how you do it. Show me how you do it. Not theoretical knowledge. Clinically, you show me how you do it. So most importantly, please remember, pallor it is seen in the lower palpebral conjunctiva, whereas jaundice it is seen in the upper bulbar conjunctiva. And most importantly, not just one finger like this, both fingers like that. So the student basically you're gonna have that the patient you're gonna expose both the you know conjunctiva. So please remember, pallor it is seen in the lower palpebral conjunctiva, and jaundice it is seen in the upper bulbar conjunctiva. Number one. Number two, very importantly, one more thing, amazing point to see for pallor is the palm. Yes, our palms are there. So how how do you look for pallor in the palms? So this is the patient hand and this is the examiner hand. As you can see in the picture, you have the patient hand, you have the examiner hand, sir. I will compare the patient hand with the examiner hand, and that is how I look for pallor. There could be some pallor also. There could be severe pallor also. So most importantly, pallor it is seen in the lower palpebral conjunctiva, and also it is seen in the palms. Now very importantly jaundice i told you regarding the you know what do you call upper bulbar conjunctiva if i quickly ask you here only that uh, what are the causes of neonatal jaundice if a newborn baby comes to you with jaundice tell me five quick differential diagnoses of jaundice so jaundice 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 everywhere it is jaundice can we appreciate more the hemoglobin if it is breaks down the more the bilirubin is formed as we all know that the hemoglobin pathway the hemoglobin gets break down into heme that gets break down into bilirubin then bilirubin so more and more hemoglobin more and more bilirubin and the baby is having jaundice so more hemolysis more bilirubin the baby is having jaundice the causes are number one have you heard of cephal hematoma have you heard of rs incompatibility have you heard of abo incompatibility and have you heard of g6pd enzyme deficiencies or have you heard of membranopathies like hereditary spherocytosis pycnocytosis elliptocytosis so these are the important points must appreciate for exam purpose thank you so much everyone this was the pallor ictrus thought process in this uh, general physical examination in the next video we're going to talk about the other things like clubbing and edema and lymphadenopathy before leaving what is the quote life is a one-time offer use it well what is the quote the quote for today is life is beautiful and one more question i have guys for you is pallor i told you and most importantly uh, neonatal jaundice i told you my question for everyone today is what is rh incompatibility for rh incompatibility what should be the mother's blood group and what should be the baby's blood group put your answer in the comment section thank you so much everyone and bye bye